The next revolution will be digitized. For our technologies, blockchain technology for art. Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to show you how to use the For Art app to register an artwork and create an unforgeable digital passport for any artwork using one of these devices. This is my collection. This is in the For Art app. These are previously registered artworks. To register a new one, I go to register an artwork. It's going to ask me if everything is the way it should be. If I want to register it, yes, go ahead. Then it gives me a couple of tips on how to create the best scenario and how to make sure that the captured fingerprints are as good as possible. I continue. The first step is to take an overall image of the artwork. So let me do that. Okay, I select the artwork and then create the shots. Yes, everything looks pretty good. There's no reflections. Looks great. I choose where the light is coming from. In this case, we have general light, so it's from up top. Then I can crop down the image a little bit so it looks neat in my collection. Wonderful, that's pretty good. Okay, done. And that's how it looks like. I can add a backside, but in this case, I won't, so I continue. Now it asks me to enter the basic artwork information. In this case, the artwork is called Build 10 by the artist Junior Toscanelli. Asked me about the year it was created, the material, in this case, it's acrylic on canvas. Let's find it in the list, wonderful. Then it asks me the size. In this case, the artwork is 90 centimeters high and 115 wide. I can also add an artwork location, but in this case, I'll skip that and I continue. And this is where we create the unforgeable digital fingerprints. We do this three times just to make sure that we can always um, find a fingerprint if the artwork has been damaged, for example, to identify the art piece. And the creation of each fingerprint is a four-step process, but it doesn't take long at all. So at first we'll choose the little spot. Let's take this one. We'll move closer until the circle turns green. Here we go. Then the system takes an image automatically and it judges whether there is enough information. Yes. It's pretty good, I confirm. And now I get a little ball, a navigation ball, um, in the augmented reality portion. And it helps me to guide the device. There we go. So let's keep the ball in the circle. And now the fingerprint is being created. Process takes about 10 seconds. I don't have to be perfectly still. I can move around a little bit. The system is set up for me to use my hands. So the fingerprint was created now. Now in the third step, I place the fingerprint on the work, which is right here, confirm the position. And then I once again go ahead and confirm the fingerprint once again if it was done well. And it looks the same. Again, keep the ball in the circle, the circle in green. Process takes roughly 10 seconds. And there we go. And that's the first fingerprint created. It's very simple, very easy, it didn't take all too long. I just repeat this two more times and then we're basically done. So the information is being collected. Let me choose a second spot. How about up here? So I move closer again. There we go. Circle is green, wonderful. It's a good spot. So again, I have my project ball. Keep it in the circle. Green and now the fingerprint is being created. See, moving around is not an issue. Wonderful. Again, fingerprint takes about 10 seconds. Next step, again, for posterity and to find it easier later on, I mark the fingerprint up here. I confirm the position and confirm the fingerprint. Once again, here's my navigation ball. If I move us around a little bit, it's not an issue. But in this case, it's very steady. So there we go, almost done. So second fingerprint created. Now we choose another spot for one last fingerprint. Let's say somewhere 
down over there. So I move into the spot again, move closer until the circle is green. And it takes an image automatically. And there we go. Let's see if it likes the spot. Yes, pretty good. Now I have my projected ball moving closer. One, two, three. And the fingerprint is created. And I'm almost done. Again, one last time, mark it on the image where the fingerprint is located. And there we go, right over here, confirm position. And then one last time, confirm the fingerprint. Here I have my ball, helps me to navigate. There we go, we're in the green. If I move too far away, the circle turns white. Let me know if I'm too close, it turns red. But it's not very difficult to do. And there we're there. That's three fingerprints created. Now it's collecting and processing all the data. And then once that is done, I can have a quick look at all the information that I've entered. So I have the overview image, the basic information that I have for the artwork, the name, the artist, etc. So I register the artwork. The registration is now done. Now, additionally, I can also add documents. So previous documentation that I have, um, if I have expert reports or anything of that sort, I can add that documentation to the artwork passport. I can also enter provenance data. So if there were significant events in the lifetime of that artwork, I can also enter that information separately just so it's easier to find. Um, but I won't do any of that now. I'll just finish up the registration. There we are, and here it is in my collection. And that's it. I've now created an unforgeable digital artwork passport with a digital fingerprint. So I can always be sure that the documentation I have here is related to that specific artwork. Thank you very much.